Breaking. I won't break anymore. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Reverend Robert Hall. He's the Executive Director of Delaware Ecumenical Council on Children and Families and also the pastor of Salem United Methodist Church in Newark. He serves as the Ecumenical Officer for the Pencil uh, Peninsula Delaware Conference of his church and as a member of the Advocacy Resources Team. Reverend Hall lives in Wilmington with his wife, Connie, a social worker with the Division for Public Health. Thank you, Representative Barbieri. And I, I wanted to bring greetings to my, to my fellow clergy and to the uh, Representative Barbieri, Senator Sicola, another honored guest here. This is an extraordinarily important uh, initiative that's being undertaken uh, for a lot of reasons, but most importantly because, as the other speakers have said, it will save lives. Uh, this, uh, I, I think all of the faith communities are united in their concern that we not see the wanton destruction of human life that we have seen over the past years through gun violence in our community. And we're particularly concerned that the burden of that violence has so often fallen on children and other young people that we simply have got to look for all of the possible ways that we can to protect those lives that we be faithful stewards of the most of the what was called the crown of creation uh, humanity um, and that if we know of a way that we can protect this most precious gift of life that we take it and that we do it uh, a few years ago uh, some of you may know uh, my good friend now my boss uh, sister Levita Owens White and Levita and I were up in the northwest part of Wilmington talking to folks about forming a health ministry and I gave my usual speech about how important that might be and we, we talked about immunization, we talked about all these other things and at the end of it this very dignified lady raised her hand and she said, Pastor that was a fine speech but can you immunize my child against getting shot? Mm. And that, that stuck with me. Also at the same time I had to go up to New York and I got off the train at Penn Station and I would asked the policeman for directions and this very New York cop said, where are you from? I said, Wilmington, Delaware. He oh. said, you're safer here, you know. And that, that was a jolt. You know, I was used to, where the streets here paid with gold. Everybody was envious of those of us from, from Wilmington, uh, but not anymore. But I think that we are going to be a, a united faith community, Christians of all stripe, Jews, Muslims, and others, in advocating for this legislation, at least I hope we are, because this is important. And if we cannot take the steps that are needed to be taken to, as other speakers said, to prevent unnecessary death, then we're not worthy of our calling. And I want to add something to this. Uh, kind of hoping that Jim would speak first so I can make sure I wouldn't say anything too <laughs> off. I'll throw but, a lamp at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think do that. I really want to be careful. But the faith communities are also very concerned about the rights of people with disabilities. Uh, every year, along with the inch and a half worth of paperwork I have to turn in, I have to say whether or not my congregation is doing all that it can to welcome people with special needs, including people with um, uh, with cognitive disabilities or, or mental illnesses. And you know, that goes whether we're you know, St. Peter and Paul out on the pike with the uh, 1,200 memberships and the flexible budget, or if it's a uh, you know, 50 member St. Swithin by the swamp with uh, no budget at all, we have to make the accommodations. So we would not, I think in the faith community, would be universal in our statement also that we would not wish to trample on the rights of people who have special needs, but I don't see this bill doing that. I think it protects those with special needs from being uh, themselves victimized uh, by the violence that goes on in our society. So I commend uh, our Delaware General Assembly. I'm, I'm always proud of the uh, work that gets done down there. Uh, I'm glad to be a Delawarean and I hope that we in the faith community can do all that we can to be supportive of this most important work. And thank you folks very much for coming and for sharing your experience with us. God bless you.